Many disorders of the lung and mediastinum are diagnosed by cytologic examination of bronchoscopic specimens. In this instructional video, we describe how slides are prepared on specimens obtained by conventional transbronchial needle aspiration and endobronchial ultrasound guided tBNA. First, the specimen is injected from the needle onto a smooth slide. If necessary, using air or the needle's inner stylet, additional material can be pushed out of the needle onto the slide. A frosted slide is then gently placed onto the one with the sample. Avoid pressing the slides together forcefully. Instead, the slides should be moved gently against each other in a single motion. Keep the slides parallel to each other. This way, a thin sample is homogeneously distributed on both slides. The two slides are then separated and processed, depending on staining procedures and diagnostic test requirements. In this video, both slides are immediately placed in fixative. The sample should be evenly distributed on each slide surface. The technique can be practiced using lotion. An alternative technique keeps the frosted slide parallel to the smooth slide as it glides gently on top of it. In this case, the width of the slide is kept perpendicular to the length of the smooth slide. Other smearing techniques may be helpful because aspirated material is not always liquid. In fact, aspirated material may be semi-solid, coagulated, or contain tissue fragments. For example, by pressing semi-solid material without smearing, two twin samples are obtained, which can subsequently be smeared and processed. Coagulated material can be squeezed between two slides using rotating movements. It can also be smeared by collecting the sample at the extremity of a slide and then pressing or stretching the specimen using another slide placed at a 45 degree angle. Regardless of how the smear is performed, poor technique will cause uneven distribution of the sample. This results in poor staining and a more difficult cytologic examination. Air in the specimen can cause uneven smear distribution and scrape artifact. Thick smears occur when more than a small drop of aspirate is placed on a slide surface. Crush artifact can be seen when excessive pressure is applied to the smear. Overlapping cells make it difficult to identify cellular details. Needless to say, a good smear, followed by appropriate and well-performed specimen processing, facilitates interpretation and diagnosis. The purpose of this instructional video was to introduce viewers to several techniques of smear preparation. These techniques have become an essential part of diagnostic bronchoscopic needle aspiration procedures. Dedicated practice of these techniques in collaboration with nursing staff, technicians, and cytopathologists will improve our ability to efficiently care for patients with mediastinal disorders.